this is my bathroom. We have not been in the bathroom since, I don't know, I haven't done any home updates in the bathroom. It's kind of a room I put off and there's a reason for that that I'm not going to tell you, but I basically can't paint this bathroom and you'll find out in a in like a few weeks why. But I do want to get a new shower curtain. And the thing with shower curtains is that there's not that many of them on the market or like cute ones. I want I want a plaid shower curtain. This shower curtain is actually uh from the guy who owns this place. I just like haven't I haven't done anything to this bathroom, which is unlike me, but I decided I want to make my own shower curtain because I can't find anything I like. And I also kind of want to play with that idea to maybe sell on my was store, my little home company. I'm gonna make it myself because I do have a sewing machine and I don't feel like it would be that hard. The only thing that's gonna make it a little bit more difficult is that I'm going to make my own little like loops instead of having these things I'm gonna make you know like this this example image is kind of what I'm going to recreate and maybe it'll be hard you know I want to test it out because if I like that and it works like if it's easy to slide open then maybe I'll design some shower curtains and sell them on was I think I think we're gonna like it and I want plaid that's what I want and I think I'm going to make it a little longer. This could probably go a little taller. So let me get my measuring tape. We're going to measure what it needs to be. And then we're going to go to the fabric district in downtown LA. And I'm going to pick out a fabric and we're going to sew it. We're going to make our own shower curtain. Me and you. Okay, so... It's five feet wide, which means I think I would actually want it to be five and a half feet wide. Let me go write this down. I need my phone. I do think this could go up to like there and this, the rod is fine. Um, all right, cool. Let's, let's go to my main guy at the Mart. I have my main guy. I'm going to go to one stop. He usually has all the stuff I want. I'm hoping. I really don't want to. I really don't want to dig around. Okay, hold on. Stay, stay with me on this. This is the fabric that I got for shower curtain. <laughs> I think it could look really cool, and it's good colors. Um, but before we get started on the shower curtain, wait, actually, and then I got this. Well, I'm really, I'm really going to be all over the place in this video, um, which I don't know if I'm going to use, but I got this like cute, it's almost like an Englishy type ribbon that I was thinking could be the loops, but it is like, it's, it's a ribbon. So I don't know. This concept is really cute. I really like this concept, but I gotta play around with it. But yes, this is the shower curtain fabric. Um, either you all love it or you all hate it, I don't know. But, okay, now the reason I'm all over the place is because I'm gonna sew that tonight. It's 4 p.m. right now, and I just have so much to do this week. But anyways, I went to this rug place. If you live in Los Angeles, forget the name of it already, something antiques. All the rugs are super discounted. The rug, I got a rug for my bedroom. It was originally 3,200 and they gave it to me for 600 because they're moving. And then they threw in this free rug that I don't know if I like or not. But anyways, if you go there and you use the code Grace Brinkley, who's a TikToker, that's how I actually found this, this rug sale. And she has a code that gets you $50 off. So use the code Grace Brinkley. Anyways, this is the free rug they gave me. Which I do think is kind of cute. I was originally looking for something for the bathroom, but I don't think it really goes. Well, well, maybe. 
Maybe. Otherwise, I was thinking it could go by the sink. Go over and look at this and tell me. Well, I guess you can't tell me. Wait, actually, I do kind of like it here because it blends really nicely with the floor. And yes, I have a lot of beer because I'm having a pizza party after the pop-up. I kind of like this. This needs to get thrown out. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, I'm gonna go get the rug from out of my car and it's big, which I like for my bedroom, but it also is gonna be heavy. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. But I am nervous about this chair being too yellow for it. By the way, this pillow is one of the new pillows on Was. Can you see it? I think it might just be the big one that's online. It kind of just depends what sells on the pop-up, but this could also be online. Right now is when this is all live. Right now, go by, go by. Isn't that cute? Look at it right here, look at that. Anyways, all right, let's see this rug. Oh, what a lovely view. The chair is in the, in the closet. Um, I think I should put my hair up. Anyways, I really love, it's similar to my rug in the other room. It's not as high of a pile, but it's similar because I like a really cozy, is this recording? Yes. I like a really cozy rug. Like I like it to be thick. I don't like a kill em. You know, I like, I like cozy. Now let's see if I can do this for myself. <sighs> Oh, and you will be shocked to see that there is like the smallest oh my God, speckle of purple in the rug, which is shocking. Also, look at this piece of art that I bought from the LA Print Fair. Again, just all over the place today. One thing about me, I hate when people say that actually, but if I want to get something done, and I can't lift it on my own, I somehow magically have the muscle to do it because I just want it now. This would be easier if I had a second hand, but whatever. Wow, I love it. Oh my God, it's so good. It like fits in this room perfectly. And I love how there's this piece that kind of like outlines the bed. And it has like this little periwinkle thing. I'm out of breath. But let me put this stuff back and then I can get a better shot of you for you. Fucking it. <laughs> Just hitting things with my butt. This is another was pillow. Again, up live now. It has this really pretty floral. And I love, this is my one of my favorites. It's like backing, can you see that? It's like an orange and because there's like little touches of orange in here I'm like maybe that could look cute or maybe these swap this one trying to show you but it goes all the way back here and it's kind of like this chartreuse and then a brown and like this like blue gray and I'm so excited about it because a bedroom rug is so fun to have. I'm way too hot and now I covered up my vent. So we're not putting on the AC. Do you like it? Can you see it? You know I'll do a montage of this, so. So this is the garage that we're shipping everything from. I would take you in there, but there's no room and it's very dark. We have boxes and boxes of stuff. Well, the stuff are, that's pillow insert. So we're gonna ship from here. I think this is the last time I'm gonna be able to ship from a garage. Because we basically have no room to work. But anyways, the reason why I'm here is because I need to pick up some chairs um, from Kate because we're going to display our pillows on chairs at the pop-up. Yeah, so I'm grabbing the chairs and then I'm grabbing also a butcher block table that they have because Kate's boyfriend, Andy, sells natural wine, so we're going to have a butcher block table to serve the wine on. I'm surprised I could carry it by myself. So I'm going to uh, stuff some of the pillows, well, one of each pillow, 
and bring it to the pop-up now to put on display. Today is Thursday, the pop-up is Saturday, so you know, just showing them and getting some stuff over there. Um, but this, I felt like this is a good time for me to show you what pillows are. Oh my God, there's so many cars. But I thought this would be a good time to show you each pillow that's launching and they're live right now, right now, so you could buy them, so. Okay, this one is actually only available at the pop-up, but the larger version of this is available online. And if they don't sell out at the pop-up, they could potentially be online. We just don't know. This is like a little striped lumbar. Here, I'll show you the large one. It's just as good. Here, large lumbar, or no, large square. This is a square pillow. And it um, has this like reversible back. And this has a feather down insert, whereas the small ones are just poly cotton. Cause these ones you can actually lay on, whereas the other ones, you know, are more for display. You can put them together, reverse. Um, let me show you what else. Oh, this just closed. These two lumbars are some of my faves. Actually, I like every, I like everything this round. I've also loved everything last round. I have too many pillows now. I have like every, section of my house has a lumbar <laughs> so many lumbars okay so this one's this really pretty floral the back is this like stripe we actually sourced some of these fabrics in michigan which is fun and then look at like the little the little trim is like um, a little stripe i don't know i'm looking i'm looking strange now but again one of my all-time faves oh my god Last round, Kate and I felt like we didn't incorporate blue or I don't know, we wanted to do something a little different. This one's a little lighter and more of like a linen and it's this really pretty like limey chartreuse um, gingham. And it has this blue outline. This one's so good for your bed. It's like, if you like like a linen cotton, this one's good for the bed. This one is one of our new pillows. It's a long lumbar. So it's really good for putting across your bed or like a bench or like a long couch, but it's longer. So if you see, here, let me show you. This is the small lumbar and then this is the long. And so this is good for like a little chair or a stool type thing. And then this looks really good across your bed. What's going on here? I need to, gotta adjust the insert, make it look good. But mm, it's really helpful to have this butcher block right here. We're very excited for the pop-up. It's already, it's already happened at this point when you're watching it. Okay, this one is so good. It's like a shiny silvery fabric. And then on the back, we did a blue stripe. And if you watched some of my older home tours, this, I basically have this pillow and a lot of people were asking where it's from. So we kind of replicated it and then added this. It's kind of fun to miss and match that we love a little dot any fabric that looks like it um belongs on like a men's tie we love that and then the back is this really cool green pattern and this just looks really good again on a chair or on a couch or wherever two of them on your bed and look at the like lining is like this like orangey well, i'm like really squinting in this video um we love this. We love this lumbar. That's it. And last but not least, which I think you're going to be bummed about because this one is unfortunately not for sale online. Um, we only had a very small amount of fabric in this one. So we do think it's going to sell out at pop-up. So, I mean, maybe it's online, but because we haven't had the pop-up yet, but this is again, just a good one. And it has this like green, piping and then paisley which my mom keeps being like i can't believe you did a paisley pillow because i feel like she liked paisley a lot i kind of match this pillow right now mm. i love um i love pillows so um i that's it that's it and if you're interested go buy one right now but i'm also about to go put them in the pop-up very pumped about it more products to come but for now, pillows, so go shop them. There's only a limited quantity because all these fabrics are unique. So we could only make a certain amount of each one. Some have higher quantities than others, but 
yeah, that's it. Let's go. I gotta, I gotta put this butcher block into my car. It's finally time to sew um, the shower curtain. My, my shower curtain prototype that is actually going to go in my shower or in my, in my bathroom. So this is a prototype, but I'm also, it's also gonna go in my bathroom, but am I gonna make it amazingly? Is that a word? Is this gonna be the best quality sew job? No, because I don't really care. And I don't want, I honestly don't feel like sewing all of the edges. I'm gonna cut it nicely, sew some pieces together, and then sew the little loops. I'm not sewing all the edges. All right, first, actually, this needs to get out of the way because we need to measure the, the fabric, and that's actually gonna be a bitch. The thing is, like, the width, the length, I have so much in length, but the width is only this long, so I'm gonna have to sew two together because it needs to be longer. Seven feet. All right, there's one. Now we don't need this whole second piece. I just need like half of it. Also, that's so cute that your friend's mom and your friend that they watch my channel. Very cute, I love it. I could just measure this, but I'm just laying it on top because I don't know, whatever. So much extra fabric that I really like this fabric. Um, I don't know what I'll use it for in the future, but I do, you know, I'll just add it to my stacks of fabric. Now the shower curtain, you see me, only needs to be five and a half feet wide, which this is interesting because it's gonna have like a weird seam, which is fine because it's just like a whatever, I'm just throwing it up there. But I guess if I were to really make them, I'd have to find fabric that's actually long, like wide enough. You get you know, putting down. I like to sew, but I also don't, you know, if you, if you watch my channel, I feel like I say that a lot. Um, I don't love like a DIY thing, like this is fine to like make it and if I like really tried it would be good. But I would rather, you know, someone else make this. I also bought a shower curtain liner, in case you were all wondering. I'm going to sew it to the back of it. I guess that will be the last thing I do. Because this isn't the right, the mosquitoes are so insane right now. So apologies if I'm itching. But. This is a little shorter, so I think I just have to wait till the, yeah. We'll wait till the end. All right, let's set up my sewing machine because also what's funny is that it's a pedal and I'm sitting on the floor. Oh, this is jammed up here. Wow, this is a like dusty. This is gonna be interesting, you know? And I'm gonna have a giant cleanup. Am I gonna like actually have to be like this on the pedal? I bet there's a way to switch it off pedal, but I don't know that this is gonna be me in my pedal. Maybe I go this way with the pedal. This is so, please do not, please do not uh, judge on this. So maybe, thank God this is a plaid because then I can at least follow the lines. I'm not that bad at threading a needle though. My sister comes tomorrow, which is fun. God, I can't believe I just got that. She's um, coming out here, she works in music production, so she's working a festival out in um, Indio, California. Not Coachella, a different festival. She did work Coachella this year though. But I was like, you should come out for the pop-up. And she also hasn't visited me in a while. Even though I did just see her. But I, I love my sister and I love when she visits. Honestly, easier than I remembered. We do have seven feet to go. Can we pray for no jam? Come on, let's go a little quicker. We want to go to bed. And I still have more things to do for the pop-up, for the pillow launch. It's been a busy week. Um, I was on an Architectural Digest shoot, prop styling shoot this week. And, um, Went to a Dodgers game, went and saw Van Morrison. So I've been, it's been fun, but I've also been really busy with work. It's like, did I really need this extra inches? I guess so. 
I've been going on more dates lately and it's interesting being on YouTube when you date. <laughs> Because I guess like this last year and a half, I haven't really been dating that much, like a little bit, but nothing where I maybe have to like tell them my job, I guess. I mean, maybe, but now I'm like dating a little bit more and I'm like, are they going to watch this? Are they watching me just like hunched over this sewing machine? This is like what the seam is going to look like. You can't really, I think like if I just make it into like one of the pleats, again, prototype you all, y'all, you guys. What I've decided I'm gonna do with the liner is I'm gonna cut off the top part that has the like, we're gonna cut off that part and then I think I'm just gonna hang it like as low as it can go. Maybe I should pin this one. Ugh, I don't want to. I'll follow a grid. What the hell? I'm so confused. Oh, this is like longer. It didn't say that on the packaging. Whatever, I'll cut it. It's gonna look good. Trust. Oh, went a little diagonal there. It's fine, everyone shush. Oh, I'm gonna lose the magnet. I'm gonna have to sew the magnet back in. It's getting dark out. I'm gonna have to film the reveal tomorrow because um, there's gonna be no sun. Well, I'll show you it. I mean, it's not like you have to wait. It's the same thing for you. It's all the same. Hell yeah. This is where we're at. Can you see me? See the back? I fold, I sewed the, the liner to the curtain. Why is that not a thing? You just leave it unlined down there. Like, why is that not a, why is that not a thing? Here's the front. You do see the seam a little, but I don't really care. This is the fabric. So basically I'm gonna create a loop at the top like this. Here, I'll show you. So basically it's gonna be like loops. Oh my God, I can't even show you. Like this across the top. You'll see it when it's on the rod. I'm gonna do this now, and you will see the reveal. Uh, right like this second, cause this is gonna take me like an hour, and then I have shit to do, but you know what? You're watching YouTube, so it's gonna, you're gonna see the reveal right now. This is a strange angle for me, but I do wanna show you this, cause it's looking so cute. Look, now you kind of get the idea, right? in <laughs> such a weird angle. But I've actually been measuring these like pre pretty accurately because I'm like, this is kind of an area you don't really want to, you know, you don't really want, want to fuck up on. So anyways, that's it. Now I'll show you. We're about to go to pop up and my sister and mom are here and I'm trying to get them to say hi on camera, but I don't know if they're going to. But anyways, I wanted to show the final result of my shower curtain prototype. It's, um, I like it, but it's definitely not the right fabric texture. It needs something looser because this is just, just too thick and the loops are good, but they also, I feel like they need to be like thinner so that they can slide easier. I don't know. Let me, let me show you a little closer view, view of it. It's hard to light this bathroom, but the back of it, I sewed the liner to like right here and then it, you know, works as a liner. And I'm confused why that doesn't exist anywhere else and why it only exists on my car. I mean, maybe it does exist elsewhere, but I've never seen it. But yeah, see, it like, it slides good, but it's not, it's not amazing. So I've definitely learned quite a bit with making this. And maybe I can show you these little strappies better. Let's see. I don't know. The lighting is, is difficult. There you go. You can kind of, you can kind of see the, the little strippy straps, but yeah, that's it. And now we are going to head to the pop-up and if I have any footage from the pop-up, I'll put it in, but I don't know. 
if I will get footage or what we're going to get content wise. So wish me luck. Also, last reminder, the pillows are now live right now. So if you want one, go buy a pillow. Let me know what you think of the shower curtain. What's, uh, what's your opinion? Goodbye.